friends, my name is Yeshwa Singh Balishetti and today I'm going to explain of what is electricity. This is an example of electricity. Here is a broken battery. Uh, and let's see what's inside a broken battery. A zinc, a zinc can, a granite rod, which is also known as carbon rod. Graphite rod. Uh, some powder which is known as manganese dioxide dipped in ammonium solution and acts as an electrolyte. Like this is a zinc can and this is the zinc can is act, acting like the negative and now the graphite car, or carbon is acting like the positive and if you see the 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 graphite doesn't reach the bottom it's only up because it stands for positive it doesn't touch the negative now let's see the three meanings of these three words okay yeah first we'll do this so uh, this is a cell and this is a negative and this is a positive in the middle is the electrolyte due to the chemical reaction there are more electrons being born on the negative side so they want to go to the positive side the electrons can't go through the electrolyte because it's a chemical that doesn't let electrons go through so when we put up a wire the electron go free goes freely and without Freely, yeah, and but then there we did something wrong when it directly and freely goes from uh, negative to positive, there will be a short circuit. So we add some resistance. Resistance is something that uh, like stops electrons not from going very fast and like a speed breaker. Now let's see the three words, current, voltage and resistance. Current is like electrons, flowing electrons. Electricity and current are the same thing it, and electricity is flowing electrons. Voltage, voltage is something, something that pushes electrons, the power that pushes electrons out of the battery into the wires now I, I, um, I want now i want to show you a bit uh, something on an electric board now on this board i'm going to discuss about another three words simple electric circuit with a switch and short circuit now we I'm just going to show you a simple technique what of... Do you, what do you have on the electric board? On the electric board, I have one bulb, three bulb holders, one... Rheostat. One rheostat, some switches, and two... And, and two... Uh, ele two wires. Resistors. Two resistors. So now, let's do a simple thing of how to glow the light. This is... This is one of the simple way of how to glow a light. Now let's see what happened. The battery, the, the voltage that I explained, is pushing the electrons out here into the negative wire, negative stands for black and positive stands for red, into the negative wire, into the resistor, which we have a bulb, they can be different resistors, and through the positive. Now, let's do, now I'll tell you what a simple electric circuit is. This is what a simple electric circuit is. It's very simple, just putting that wire there, and there to show how the electrons are moving and making the light flash glow. Now let's. What is happening 
with the chemical energy with the chemical energy chemical energy is produced chemical energy is produced by the batteries batteries is converted to is and it's converted to electric potential energy electric and heat energy yeah electric and heat energy now let's now let's do number 5 with a switch this there is no other meaning of switch it's the switch you have on the walls to on the bedroom and stuff now this wire has to go here onto this switch now the electrons are stopped here this is a insulator i mean this is a conductor insulate c- conductors are something that let electrons flow easily freely but insulators are something that don't let electrons go like wood and plastic now the electrons now we attach the switch this is called a metal plate switch to this to this to this switch another to this all bracket switch now the electrons have stopped here we have another wire now we need to make the electron go here to here to make the light glow so i'll pick one here oh, sorry here on the other one here sorry now the light has started to glow now the light has started to glow so what happened is the electrons are pushing the bat- the voltage is pushing the electrons out onto the uh, in the negative wire and into the metal l bracket switch and then the the metal plate switch is attached and it's in conductor so it's letting the electron flow and we adding a wire they going through the wire and into the resistor and coming back and now let me explain the How last to switch of the bulb to switch off the bulb like you do in a light you just have to do that yes now how to switch on the bulb again to switch on the bulb we add it again because the conductor the when the electrons stop here the electrons are stopped so none of the electrons are going to the resistor yes so when we on the electrons are going through not stopped so now let me explain the last word short circuit short circuit is when like here let's say there's no light and then the electrons are flowing freely when something like when it goes from negative to positive without any resistor like a light or any yeah so now i want to show you what such short circuit looks like so now let's on the switch now the light is on but now look what happens now the light has stopped do you know why because the electrons even think like we think if you want to go on a long cut or a short cut you go on a short cut even the electrons the same thing they don't want to get slowed by an, uh, by a resistor such as a light so they want to go on a freeway and go around now if i take this out i feel that th- this is very hot because it's a short circuit it happens to heat up so much that it can even cause fire in big stuff not like batteries batteries don't have that much energy thank you for watching my video what happens to the batteries if you put short circuit if you put short circuit to the batteries they will finish quickly because the electrons are going quickly in a free way thank you for watching my video see you on my next video and on, and on my next video i'll explain about two switches two switches circuit and yeah and and
two switches circuit and i have one more thing to explain now how why are the why the batteries are actually not like this the batteries are actually not written like this under each other they are actually written like this they are connected they are connected like this now we have two circuits called series and parallel parallel now series is when this happens and parallel is like that and the lines never meet again now it's fine you will explain that in the next video now now one more the batteries are like this why are they if you ask me they look like that but why are they not like that they have a wire connected to them which represents the batteries are like this thank you for watching my video see you on the next video and i'm going to explain about two 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 switch two switch circuit two way switch two way switch circuit